Thanks everybody for coming by. This is my week one Ravens vs. Brown preview. Let's get it started. The game is about to start. Week one Ravens versus the Browns is finally here through all the world's crazy pandemic. It is finally here. So my week one preview, Ravens versus Browns. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is, I ain't gonna talk about Lamar yet. I know we all love us. Us Raven fans, we all love us some Lamar. We get so much hate about Lamar. So the one I'm going to talk about, elephant in the room, is Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt. That run game. Now, when the Browns, they spanked us. Spanked us that first game last year. That was the Browns Super Bowl for some Browns fans. And I believe this year is going to be different. Just like when we played them last year for that second time. And it was a different ball game. So we have beefed up our run. Nick Chubb, Kareem Hunt, mainly Nick Chubb, clowned us that, that game. And this year we have Calais Campbell. We have Derek Wolf. And we have Brandon Williams because he's going to play in a different position. And I believe it was a nose tackle. If I'm wrong, please tell me so I can make sure I'm right next time. So, that right off the bat, everybody's going to be watching that for the run. Everybody knows that was our weakness with the Titans. Just the run game in general was weak last year. We have Patrick Queen, we have Fort, LJ Fort, and we have Harrison. So I'm really looking forward to that. And I'm gonna give you my people I'm looking forward to offense and defense for us playing. So that's one right off the back of Right off the elephant in the room is that Nick Chubb, Kareem Hunt versus the D-line, Judon, I didn't mention, and Browser and Ferguson. Um, I still don't know about him, cause they really haven't been speaking about him, man. I'm like, better step it up. And Browser, I believe he's gonna really do good this year. It's contract year, so you know he's trying to get that money. So, that is the run game versus our D-line. Now, I'm just gonna stay on defense for right now. Now, we have OBJ, we have Austin Hooper, we have Jarvis Landry. They, they got some, they got, they got pro bowlers. They, they have pro bowlers out there in Jarvis and OBJ. Now, we all remember what Marlon did to OBJ. We remember that. He punked that young man like he was a child. I remember OBJ was talking about, you know, he didn't want to do nothing because he role model. Man, you got punked. Straight up. You got you got manhandled. You got it it happened. It happens, you know, it, it happens. And that's what Marlon do. Marlon is built like a linebacker. Just take it what it is. But I believe they're gonna do their thing now, Austin Hooper. I'm really looking forward to because I believe they're gonna have, in stance, they're gonna have Jimmy on him. As Jimmy Smith as well. I want to see Queen because Queen is very fast. They say he's pretty decent in coverage. I want to see that. That's one thing I'm looking forward to as well. For as that. And 
also Deshaun Elliott. I want to see if they're going to put Deshaun Elliott on Hooper or they're going to put uh, Chuck on Hooper. So that's very interesting in itself because there's so many people that can be on Hooper. And then we got Tavon as well. Tavon is back. Tavon Young is back. I'm really looking forward to seeing him on defense. It's like, man. So, that that right there is just the defense to me. That's, that's the defense I, I can't wait to see. Now, offense. Lamar Jackson. Ingram. Mark Andrews. J.K. Gus. Hill is going to be out. Hollywood. Boykin, Willie Sneed, Dev, oh, James, it's, I just want to see all of them, <laughs> I just want to see all of them ball out, but uh, for as the offense, I'm really looking forward to, because Sheldon Richardson was talking smack, talking about, you know, keep Lamar in the pocket, he's not going to do anything, I'm like, dude, as the as the old school say, as I say, think before you speak, because not only if there's bulletin board material, Lamar led the league last year in pocket TDs. It just is what it is. He led the league in touchdowns, passing touchdowns. It is what it is. It's just he's on another level, but I'm. I'm getting more in depth with my thoughts about Lamar in another video. But, uh, so I believe Lamar is going to do his thing. I believe we're going to start off first quarter. I believe both teams is going to be a little rusty. Now, if Lamar just do like he did with Miami, just slack it. Throw that mud. Boom, Hollywood. Touchdown like that. You're going to see in the video. I'm going to be going crazy. But, um,. I'm really looking forward to seeing against that against that um that D line, Miles Garrett, Ronnie Stanley, or uh, Miles Garrett against Ronnie Stanley, Miles Garrett against Orlando. I'm really looking forward to that because Ronnie Stanley didn't give up no sacks last year, I believe. Orlando is coming into his to his own. Ronnie is about to get paid. And Garrett is a beast. He is a pro bowler. Hopefully he don't take nobody help but off so I swing it. But I'm looking forward to seeing that offensive line, seeing Fluker taking um, the Hall of Famer yonder spot. Really looking forward to seeing that. For as the run game, I really I already know what Ingram gonna do. I know what Gus can do. I really really want to see JK I'm like after I did after they drafted him and I apologize I can't remember your name right now you told me to check him out but I did and I just been like man that dude is a beast I still can't believe he's a raven like he's a raven <laughs> that's crazy what Lamar oh goodness but oh man that's gonna be beautiful so I'm really looking forward to seeing that, seeing Hollywood fully healthy. He's saying he's not even the fastest he can be yet, and that is scary. It's like we know Lamar is going up and up, up and up. Then you got Hollywood going up and up and up with him. Oh, just beautiful, beautiful. Can't wait to see that. And I want to see Mark Andrews and Nick Boyle do their thing. You know what I'm saying, Nick? But Nick, he's a great, great blocker. And he's pretty he's pretty decent catching the ball. I believe he's going to get better this year. I know Mark Andrews is going to do his thing. He's getting, he's going, he's, as he stated, he's working into the elite. The, uh, the kettle, you know, he's getting, trying to get up in that kettle situation. So, I'm really looking forward to seeing that. Now, my top four people I want to see in the offense. I'm not going to even include Lamar. Yes, fourth, I want to see, I want to see Boykin. That's my fourth. Three, I want to see Hollywood. 
two, I want to see the I just say the complete offensive line because we got one new piece in there, and I want to see how the center do, Matt. I want to see how he does. He's coming back from injury. I want to see how he does. And then my number one, you know what it is. It's JK. Like, it's JK. And then for as my defense, number four, I want to see Tavon. Three, Tavon Young, in case you didn't know. Three, I want to see Patrick Queen. Two, I want to see Calais Campbell, because I've been wanting Calais Campbell on, as a Raven for the longest. And then my number one is the Joker, Deshaun Elliott. Hopefully he can stay healthy, shut them doubters up about the Earl Thomas situation. And that will be awesome. So my overall score, I have it. Ravens 24. Browns 13. So I have Ravens 24, Browns 13. So you tell me what your score is. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Share the video. Show your boys some support. Thank you everybody for coming by. Everybody stay safe. God bless. Yeah.